Uh, the topic we were discussing was around uh, the governance and legal issues around cloud. Um, talking about data privacy, uh, where data lives, all, all those sort of uh, issues that uh, uh, are coming up in cloud and being discussed among small and large enterprises. Yeah, and what were some of the key points of discussion? Um, there was a lot of uh, discussion around uh, the issues people have with uh, storing data in the US around the US Patriot Act and, uh, uh, and data transitioning through, all the, through countries where um, uh, data privacy might not be quite as uh, as well protected as other other, other places. Um, we talked a lot about uh, how organisations uh, had to do a risk assessment of their, of their data, and that a lot of small and medium enterprises don't really didn't really understand what they what they had to do from that perspective. Whereas large enterprises were very well aware of uh, looking at, look at things from a risk perspective. Mm -hmm. Was there a summary kind of uh, thoughts or? I think the, the, the summary was is that uh, um, this is a, a, a difficult, uh, difficult thing to um, to come across, to actually actually understand and to uh, to get around. You, there's, there's no quick answer or easy answer to this. Uh, a lot of it's around education. There's a, a lot of view around that uh, there's a lot of fear, uncertainty, and doubt around uh, the, the privacy and security, and uh, a, lot of the, a lot of that could be solved but requires a lot of education of. Uh, of the end users of the data, uh, more so than uh, from a technical perspective. Um, the other, uh, the other aspect was that um, uh, laws across the uh, across the world are, are very out of step with each other, and um, uh, it means that maybe a, a appropriate in one jurisdiction is not appropriate in another jurisdiction. And um, how does a glo global organisation, or even organisations using the cloud services, and the cloud services are being global? Um, uh, uh, comply with various different ju jurisdictions. Um, but, uh, people have thought started to worry about oh, perhaps we should we need a Switzerland for the data, and um, uh, the, it was put forward that New Zealand should be should be the Switzerland of data. So, firstly, can you tell me what was the discussion? What topic were you discussing yeah. in your group? Yeah, private versus public cloud. So we talked a bit about wanted to first define what a cloud was, and then whether public and private clouds exist, and uh, what people were leaning towards, and how that uh, how that worked. So, what were some of the key points of discussion that you? wrestled with? Yeah, really about elasticity, what a cloud was in terms of whether it should be elastic or paper use model, kind of on-demand computing, utility-based models, chargeback, some of those types of things, and, and what defined a cloud, and then whether that made a cloud public or private, and how IT uh, groups could uh, use them. Yeah, so were there any potential issues that um, that, that people in the group had with, with the different sort of... Yeah, I think, I, I think uh, when you're looking at that, a lot of people have decided, uh, had preconceived notions that things weren't clouds or were clouds based on uh, history. You know, just because something's old, it wasn't a cloud. And just because something's new, it is a cloud. And, and, and I think there's a lot of that balance that we discussed. Uh, and I think, you know, just because they have a desktop, it doesn't necessarily mean that can't be in the cloud or you can't have those services delivered. So there's a lot of that type of discussion and I think uh, a lot of people came together and shared those ideas. Yeah, I heard a little bit of discussion about enterprise and sort of what sort of enterprise and what's it going to end up looking like. Um, what did you got? What was the summary of that? What yeah, so, so, so I guess the, the, the end summary was really that we decided that enterprises would selectively put stuff in the cloud based on the workloads or based on the actual applications or what could be commoditized and those things that can't be commoditized might go to private clouds and, and I guess as well enterprises need to look at their organization or IT as a service and need to make that mental leap about the uh, business paying for IT in a utility based model but giving them the responsibility to act efficiently in a utility based model. You can't take the responsibility but not give the responsibility. And so the businesses need to give those responsibilities and the IT departments need to actually take them on board and then be able to drive the efficiencies. Okay, well, so we talked about data portability uh, and data management and some of the problems and concerns that people had about moving data from uh, one cloud provider to another. Okay, can you give me some of the key points and discussions and arguments that they had? Um, pretty much, it, it was an interesting discussion mostly because, um, for, well certainly from my point of view, I think um, uh, it's not a new problem. Uh, moving data between applications, um, whether they're on-premise or in the cloud, is, is equally as difficult. Um, and then there was also a lot of discussion around uh, risk management strategies and, uh, and how um, that might be realised in the cloud world, 
uh, and, and some people even had some sort of solutions for how that data movement might happen. Okay. Were there, were there any sort of uh, disagreements? Uh, oh, I don't think it was too much. Oh, I don't think it was too much contention. I, I think there was a lot of. Uh, there seemed to be a lot of eye rolling, uh, as though though we're going over old ground or maybe discussing stuff that, that, that maybe there wasn't a solution for. Okay. So is there a, a summary sort of sentence or a summary sort of... Where did the, the group end up? I think the group really ended up with, with the, the, that if data m uh, movement between cloud providers was a real problem or is a real problem, um, then it probably will be um, up to the vendors to provide some solution simply because people will demand a solution.